Well, it looks like it's maybe part race car, part spaceship, if you look at it closely. It is the latest multi-million dollar vessel from shipbuilder Palmer Johnson in Sturgeon Bay, and it's now in the water of Sturgeon Bay. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more on today's brief maiden voyage. A slow-moving escort guided the 150-foot long yacht in the Sturgeon Bay Shipping Channel Tuesday morning. The Palmer Johnson 48M Supersport is the first of its kind. Designer Berkeley March says the hull and superstructure are made from carbon composite. It helps us reduce the uh, structural weight by two-thirds, so it's a third of what uh, a conventional um, hull would weigh. So that helps us reduce the uh, power needed to push it through the water. The high-tech ship is built for speed, topping out at 32 knots, or about 36 miles per hour. There are three decks and room for 12 passengers and nine crew. All the openings on, uh, on the structure, all the openings uh, on the inside areas uh, allows uh, a direct contact um, to the sea. 200 workers spent the past year and a half building the ship. Company president Mike Kelsey says this yacht is an example of buyer confidence in the market. It wasn't just that money seemed to dry up, there was a psychology that spending a lot of money was a bad thing. People are starting to get away from that now and starting to relax a little bit. Every dollar of local wages uh, gets turned around at least three to five times within the local economy. So those shipbuilders who are making you know, very good money, year-round uh, job opportunities, are spending those dollars here in our local economy and supporting other local businesses. And as the yacht makes its way under the Michigan Street Bridge, Palmer Johnson officials say they can breathe a sigh of relief. I think it will do what it's supposed to do. So. On that front of things, I'm very confident that we'll have a superior product out there. The yacht will be tested at the Centerpoint Marina dock before heading to the Mediterranean Sea in the coming weeks. In Sturgeon Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. So does that look like a boat you'd maybe think of, maybe, <laughs> if you'd like to have a yacht like that? You're going to need some spare cash. Without being specific, Palmer Johnson said the cost is in the tens of millions of dollars. And apparently some people have that cash. The company says it recently signed more yacht contracts and plans to hire more workers.